fifth grade. Our next lesson for history is called Moving West. So it's moving on um, from all the inventions and now we have all this land to go travel and to kind of get to know uh, and to hopefully settle. Um, so this, this is all about um, Americans expanding and settling in the far western lands. Um, these kinds of things happened in the mid 1800s. Um, and so the, all the different trails um, are going to be used. Like there's the Oregon Trail, um, there's uh, the Mormon Trail. Um, you'll kind of see different stops. Um, there's the California Trail. There's different stops even where um, people turned those stops into almost like, not bed and breakfast, but like inns and um, it's kind of where like restaurants even started. You know, people would make food for them, uh, a place to eat and drink, a place to rest. Um, so we're gonna see that kind of start because hey, while you're traveling, people need safe places to eat, drink and, and rest. So uh, we're gonna be learning about all those different things and different people. Um, and this whole lesson is pretty much why they went. Okay, it's called Moving West, but why they went is what we're going to focus on. So in your history notebook, if you could please uh, open to the next fresh page after uh, the second lesson, which was um, the presidency of Andrew Jackson. So please title it chapter 13.3, Moving West. And then you're going to create a box. Don't fill up the whole page, but because I want some room down below, we're going to answer some map questions under, under there. Um, but you'll need four sections. Um, and on the left side, okay, our whole lesson starts on page, uh, page 384. So put that at the top so you know. All right. And on page 385, this is where we're going to put, um, on this side is going to be either the people or groups of people that traveled. And then on the right side, you're going to explain why they went. So in your reading, um, you'll find, you know, explanations. So the first box, we're just going to say people in general. Why were they moving west? Okay, so I will read that with you, um, but I just want to fill in the rest of what I wanted to find. And then on page 386, we're going to put Marcus and Narcissa uh, Whitman. Okay, and read through and find out why they traveled west. Then we're going to write Brigham Young and the Mormons. And that's also on page 386. Okay, and then finally, we're going to, uh, this is page 388, and then uh, we're going to call them the 49ers. All right, so get that set up in your notebook. Uh, the only other thing you're going to set up at the bottom here is... I want you to write map skill page 385. And on your own, I want you to be looking through the map. I want you to answer numbers one and two. Okay, so you'll do that on your own, but please make sure you have it down. So you'll be um, filling in, you know, why they went west, okay, and then do the map skill on page 385. There's two questions on the right side of the map skill. All right, so let me read to you the background, build the background. Moving west. We left our home in Iowa with three wagons drawn by seven yoke or pairs of oxen. It was thought that horses were not suitable to draw wagons across the Rocky Mountains. Two of the wagons were loaded with provisions or supplies, and the third, a light wagon, carried the small children and some beds. 
This is how John Breen recalled his family's move to the West in 1846. Breen was one of thousands of people who traveled to the West to begin a new life. So that's kind of the major thing. People want to start fresh um, and they want lots of space to do it. So it kind of makes sense, you know, people in general. But let me read 385 to you and then we can figure out what we want to put there. So page 385 is called The Trip West. People had made had many reasons for traveling west of the Mississippi River. Some hoped for religious freedom. Others hoped to discover gold or silver and make a fortune. And still others came for cheap land. Well, right there, people. I mean, there's, we can fill in, in general. Um, some hope for religious freedom. All right, so religious freedom. Okay, others hope to discover gold. Uh, discover gold or silver. And like it said, to make a fortune. Um, and then it says, still others came for cheap land. Okay. And if you remember from a few um, lessons ago, we were talking about the pioneers, those that like started to go first in the beginning and check out the land. Um, you know, people were looking for more space, cheap land, because there's so many people coming in on the East Coast. Um, on, on the, you know, the right side of the Appalachian Mountains, there was no, no room for people. And the land was so expensive because there wasn't much of it while people kept coming in. All right, so the rest of the page says, the journey west took between four and five months. A family had to take all their supplies that they would need, not only for the journey, but also to set up a house when they arrived. Their wagons carried flour, water, dried meat, seeds for planting, weapons and bullets, farm tools and pots and pans for cooking. This didn't leave much room for family treasures. Travelers left in the spring to get across the Rocky Mountains before the snow blocked the passes. These large groups of wagons were called wagon trains. As long as the settlers kept moving west, Native Americans left them alone. Some Indians even supplied travelers with vegetables and buffalo meat. Western Trails. One route to the west was called the Santa Fe Trail. It crossed New Mexico and Arizona before following an old Spanish road to Los Angeles. However, most travelers took the Oregon Trail to the Oregon Territory. More than 300,000 people followed the Oregon Trail west. So many wagons crossed on the Oregon Trail that some of the deep ruts of their wheels are still visible today. All right, so guys and girls, that was page 385. Um, if you want to pause now, you can um, look down on page 385 and answer your map school questions. Please pay close attention to um, the legend on the map because it tells you which ones are cities, what's a fort, uh, which ones are the trails. Um, so you just wanna be careful and take your time with that. Um, so please make sure, um, make sure you read the rest of the lesson. So for the rest of it, you wanna go from 386 um, to 389. So it starts on page 384 to 389. Okay, so for today, if you could please uh, finish reading, uh, fill in, you know, find out why Marcus and Narcissa went west, Brigham Young and the Mormons, and then the 49ers. So fill that in and then do your map skill and then send me your beautiful work. Thank you, fifth grade.